Hi, all your wildlife photographers and lovers of the Kalahari. This is it. The final moment has arrived. The final selection of 2022's wildlife photographic competition. So as you guys know, we've um, started in October, uh, September, October of 2021. Uh, that's when just after the the um, selection or the final prize giving weekend um, is at the Khalakhari Lodge, the co-sponsor, the photography competition. is main sponsor is myself, uh, Catfish Joe Productions or Joe's Camera. One of the productions, Khalakhari Lodge just outside the gate at the Khalakhari Trans Frontier Park. And Orms has joined us in this year as a secondary sponsor, um, the preferred camera framing printing shop in the Cape and as far as I'm concerned the best in the country. So so here it is. I've put all the finalists in one folder and it's quite it's quite a job. It's quite a daunting job. What I've done is in the past three days I've prepared myself. I haven't looked at any other images besides the ones that I've selected there. Then I I I viewed and visited all the knowledge that I have with regards to fine art marketing of photos, selecting a fine art photo, um, um, all wildlife photography books, uh, you know, went on and look at all the best images in the world from the major competitions and then apply the, the knowledge that I've got um, in running a photographic um, gallery. And uh, I say once again, it's a, it's a huge and a magnificent um, learn school to actually have a photographic gallery because you know it's one thing to put your photos in on, on facebook or uh, display them somewhere but it's another thing to select the images to hang on your photographic wall number one is you need to predict which ones are going to sell which one is going to stir the emotion so that they're going to sell and it's all about selling in a gallery it's it's 90 percent of people just come through and they and, and they love it it's that's the the um that's the thing about a gallery but the most important thing is, is when a guy walks past the image you can see what he does when you sit in the gallery you can see where he stops at what what image which image which images he compared uh, he compares uh, with you can see whether the black and white images triggers him or not and basically it's a psychology it's a school of psychology of photography to be able to have a gallery and sit there and watch international people go through and what they respond and how they respond to and there's a there's a um, a load full of, of information and knowledge that won't pick up and I'm going to make a specific program with regards to that but I'm going to apply that knowledge over here the overwhelming criteria was is that knowledge that I've got in what images um, of course the foundational elements of um, composition is is very important I've studied that I've used that I continuously do but but um, the overwhelming thing is is that um, at a glance to be able to put all of those things together, the foundations of composition, what the main direction is, what the other directions are, what are the opposite directions, what are the shapes, the patterns, um, uh, leading lines, the old boring one, um, dark, uh, opposites are dark and light, um, rough textured and smooth textured, um, C curves, reverse C curves, reverse S curves, um, a notional space, halo around the subject, um, obstruction in the frame on the edges and all that stuff comes in handy. But most of all, you need to trust your, your intuition and, and your knowledge when it comes to that. Um, with regards to the specific competition, photographing wildlife in the Khalakhari or the Trans Frontier or the Kalahari Gemsburg Park area, it also pays to know the environment. Um, so I bring that knowledge in as well. You know, over three decades, I, I really... I really am addicted to the Kalari like you guys, and I've made a study with it. I'm, I'm very interested in the people of the Kalari, all the communities, and uh, we're trying to help them as photographers as well. We're building this community of photographers in the Kalari is very important because I would uh, like the people to stand together and maybe later on help the communities around the park and as things develop, you know, help with the with as as all the photographers are actually stakeholders, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the number one stakeholder besides the community living around the park. So so yeah, that is that is um, just touching on 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 the critique and you know I had to prepare. It's about two days to prepare all the stuff. 
and put them in the right folders, make sure that, uh, the, uh, you know, we removed all, all, the, all the bad ones and so on. Maybe there's some double entries. I, I don't care about that. Just another thing and the last thing is, is please remember, guys, you know, we, we take out a lot, of, a lot of money to produce that and to run this competition is about a 300,000 rand currently this year. Next year, it'll go up. Um, and and um, we do that with one thing in common. We create the community. Uh, we want to inspire photographers by creating a platform because there's nothing like it. There was nothing like it. Um, in the old days, there used to be a, a gallery in the Tour of Huron area and, and photographers were celebrated by the parks and so on. But, you know, it's it's not done today. So... So it is there to inspire, to group people together and to compare images. And that's one of the biggest, um, biggest things for a photographer. If you don't compare your images, you know, you, you're never going to know how good you are. So one thing is, guys, all we want in return is the fact that I want to, to use it for media. I want to use it for the platforms, Khalakhadi Photography website and the social media pages. And and theref therefore help the photographers marketing their images and, and and give them mileage and so on. And all we want is is the first or the media can. So if you enter in this competition, we don't want you to enter different competitions uh, to get media coverage because you know we take out all the money and and uh, we we produce this um, and and then you enter somewhere else and another magazine you know uses your your image that's how the media works you know you, one thing you want is you want to release that image first so if you enter a competition and it's later on in other words the the, the selection of that competition happens after the selection and the, the fact that we've um, published it on, on media they, then that's fine um, but we don't want uh, um, images or the mileage to be diluted so when you enter an image it's a good image then the getaway uh, ask you for free to just take the image and comment about it so I still don't know and I still uh, if there's one lesson I can give photographers is you never give your images away if a magazine wants your image the magazines have dealt have worked it's also a media platform but they but um, you know you get the prize if you win so you must decide where you want to when they enter the magazine or you want to enter this competition also so that's that's a choice you need to make it's one of those things i say once again if our competition closes uh in in november and the other competition in a magazine or whatever closes and they select f three months four months afterwards that's fine um otherwise if that happens, then I must unfortunately remove that images and not consider, go through to the finalist, but not um, uh, regard them uh, in the finals to receive a prize. So, so here we go. In Bridge, I've got these images. I'm not going to read out the names because we've we've handled them or we've we've treated them or critiqued them or just given an overview of the images in the monthly. Um, finalist you can you can look at a glance where we go over it is it is absolute privilege to sit and judge these images because it's not really seen as a judgment it, to me it's it's like visiting uh, the Kalari every time I sit every month I sit with these images to try and and evaluate them and assess them and so on you, you know I, I tend to get into it and and you forget that it's a competition. It's just absolute phenomenon. So this part of the job where I sit and edit videos and sit and edit um, images, or, or and that's one of the reasons. It just totally inspires me to look at all these images because it's all the different angles and the viewpoints of each each photographer. So each photographer that captures the image uh, on here is it's a blessing to actually look at them sharing their work. So yeah, you know, I, I say again, my my slogan is capture share and inspire and and that's what it's all about you know why would you go into the nature and wildlife and capture images if you don't want to show the world um we'll discuss all the different platforms but let's just go through that again some of them you'll see they you know uh, the other thing that we'll do is is you know with the photographer with the competition as well um i'd like to do a coffee table book you know every say three three years four years um coffee table book and calendars and um that's a major experience but there's some mileage and these the once the image has been selected we'll ask you whether you want to contribute or want to um 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 be published in the in the coffee table book um with, with a little story of your own 
about the images and so on, but, but more about that as soon as we've got finalization uh, about that. So here we go. I can see Gert Lambrecht's images there about the Bushman. Uh, you, you Mitchell's um, center row there. So more of Huey and look at that image of Ilna Boyan standing out there. Absolute freaky, freaky beautiful. But yeah, very difficult. These images one should have in a in a book, so because they all they all it is actually a sin to try and determine um, who the winners are or the finalists are, because it's really doing injustice to the rest of the photographers. Here we go, that's all of them. Um, I'm going to put this over the commentary or talking about the images. The thing that stands out is, is I can just say that that one can see how, how, how certain photographers uh, so photographers are good but you can see the some of the upcoming um, photographers and so on and I just want to say that you know the photography or the competition is also there to help you grow if, if, if you want mentorship or you want uh, criteria or assistance in in the photographs uh, either editing or developing or, or whatever just contact us um, I do online consultation and online uh, classes if you want um, and what I'm also going to do is, is this year is have a interview on Joe's camera and a series to interview all the, the wildlife photographers the top ones the, the more frequent contributors and and uh, have a series of all the um, wildlife photographers visiting the Khalakhadi and frequently entering this competition. Like I said, what I've, what I've got over here is the top around about 70, I think 68 or so. And what was done is just, you know, the, the ones that, that sort of comply aesthetically with, with the most foundational uh, rules. Um, and um, quite a lot to say about that. But once again, it was even difficult to get this category done. So yeah, here we go. Um, Andre Bruxma, Annette Smith, Brian Holland, uh, regular entries. Um, some fantastic images. If there's the one of Annette Smith, if you can uh, go through to see whether your images are there. Really exceptional images. There are some guys that are so good, like you, Mitchell's landscapes. You know, if you he, he he could win the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth and sixth prize uh, when it comes to landscapes. But you know, you know, if if he pitches at that level, then we got to take one. So you know, you his landscapes are, are world class. So a quick look at. The rest. We have a glance at them, and then four at the bottom. The usual names that one see in here, and then I thought let me just select over there again, and and this works out to round about the top thirty. So if we look at this, I mean, if you look at this beautiful, clean portrait of um, Brahm Holland. I'm going to price treble. Fantastic shot about Carl Stander, Dominique is in there. Dominique, another one. Gerard Tron has got one, two, three. Gerard Lamprecht has got has got uh, this one and he has got 
Marita has got that one. And that's in the top 30. And if you look at, I mean, there's images like this of Rob Kisling. Look at this absolute perfect line nest portrait. If that was a lion, a male lion, it most probably would have would have been in the top six. But you can't get a better black and white. I mean, look at those eyes and look at that expression. That's exactly what you want from a lion. No distraction in the background. Look at the symmetry. Look how clean the lioness is. Oh, fantastic. So in the top 11, Annette Smith's Cobra fight. Carl Stoner captured this image. Um, I was standing right next to him when he captured this image during last year's final prize-giving weekend at the Khalakhali Lodge. Gerard Tron, um, he's done two or three like this, but I, I just absolutely adore this. And if we can actually print and enlarge this to A1, it will be absolutely super. Um, Gerard Lamprecht, one of the seniors and the guys that's been in the Kilari the longest um, with us. Look at this exceptional capture, like only he can. Super image, deserved to be there. Yui's landscapes, all four or five of them could be um, in, in the top six, but this one, absolutely dramatic. And just to prove to us that he can only, he can not only do landscapes, he can do some super wildlife and he's got the patience and all the stuff to actually reach the top with wildlife. Ilna has done this very exceptional image. I just want to find out if she hasn't entered this somewhere else. Um, I've seen her posting it on, on Facebook elsewhere. I just want to find out whether she did indeed um, publish it somewhere else, but deserved to be top six. Jan van Sel, Jan's captured this. He's just had the patience to walk or to drive with this um, secretary bird. And that's one of the Plus minus 10,000 snakes that they eat a day. Color portrait. Color portrait of this lines was entered last year and um, I said if this was black and white it should be in the top six. So I'm going to stay true to my word and say if an image has been entered in color in the one year, you can enter it in black, the same image, black and white the next year, and vice versa. And Sonia Kuhn has captured this story between the snake and the raptor. We would like to know what the snake is saying, if it's threatening or it's begging. And I'd like to know what the bird thinks. But yeah, you can stare at this image for quite some time. Very interesting. So that's that. That's the top. That's the top images. Uh, absolute sin to have to select a top six over here. But why I've done this is we'll do the top six now. And if that six, there's one of them that cannot blow up or be enlarged to at least a one, it gives us chance that one of these guys can. I mean, so congratulations. All these guys, Annette Smith, Carl Stander, Gerard Tron, Gerard Lamprecht, Hugh Mixler, Ilna Boyens, Jan van Seil, Gerard Tron and Sonia Kroon. All regular guys. Um, it's just Annette Smith that, that's in there, but you know, these guys are all, um, Ilna is is doing some exceptional work. She's, um, I've just seen on, on Facebook another image just today, absolutely world class. So here we go. So I'm going to pick the top six from these now. So here we go, the top six wildlife photographers for the year 2022. Superb photographer, and I think I think she could be a winner very soon with any of those images. I want to say once again that any of these images can actually win. That's that's how good they are. And you might give it to six different people and they will come up. So I regard the top six, and that's why we do the top six. I regard the top six as the top, top six images. There's really no second, third, fourth, fifth prize, but we want to give the first prize to someone. 
Um, we'll have categories for black and white, for landscape and all that. But um, yeah, that's, that's exceptional image. And then Gerard Battelier, I say again, absolute super portrait if you can blow this up. You mix this landscape, it's an exceptional capture. Look at the rain that the Kalahari so desperately need with the dramatic clouds and the road leading straight into the, to the object, um, actually like a painting. Um, Gerard Lambrecht's capture is something that you don't see that often. As a matter of fact, you see it very little in 10 years exceptional capture like this he can there we go it congratulations yui um, Gert lambrecht you mitchler Gerateron and ilna boyan so so what does it mean it means that um i'm going to load this i'm going to edit this load this and as soon as i load that um these photographers um will be invited to the top six final weekend at the Galagadi Lodge, where there's a, a function that everyone else that's done it in the previous years just rave about. It's just something exceptional to actually experience at the lodge. It is um, uh, it is it is different in the fact that the top six people get a prize, and the prize is the lodge. The lodge is it's it's food uh, and 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 uh, accommodation all inclusive. So. The top six guys get a get a decent prize, and then and then the 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 winner the first first prize is um, a, a lot of things you can see on the on the um, on the, on the website. It's um, it's cash prize, it's accommodation at the lodge, it's four by four hire, it's a print uh, done by Orms, etc. So so once again, congratulations, guys, and please enter for for this year for for next year's competition and i think it'll be it'll be even even larger or bigger so i'll give i'll make the announcement very soon but congratulations to the wildlife photographers the guys that 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 make this happen the stakeholders of the calari between this guys that's that's entered and the girls that's entered here you've spent a hell of a lot of your money in in the in the calari Hemspoke park to keep that sustainable and to pay the salaries and to maintain the fences and and all of the stuff that they require in sound park so without you there is no park um thank you very much for 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 taking images and spreading and marketing the the kalari um, park it is still an exceptional park and uh, keep on shooting <laughs>